सो हेलो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू वेरीफाई ए गूगल माई बिजनेस विदाउट पोस्ट कार्ड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड वॉट इज द स्टेप बाई स्टेप प्रोसेस ऑल्सो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इन दिस वीडियो एंड देर आर टू थिंग्स विच यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड वाइल अप्लाइंग फॉर दिस वेरीफिकेशन प्रोसेस एंड वॉट आर दोज टू थिंग्स ऑल्सो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर इन दिस वीडियो एंड अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव आस्ट वाइल अप्लाइंग फॉर दिस प्रोसेस there is a thing where you have to submit your map url and uh, if you are not aware and if you are not finding that map url then what you have to do also i am going to explain in this video so if you want to get your listing verified as soon as possible then watch this video till the end so many business owners will create a google my business listing and uh, try to get it verified but uh, google will defaultly uh, for lot of categories will give or to verify that listing via postcard option only because of lot of spam activities happening in this space because there are lot of people who are spamming uh, these google my business listings and google maps uh, with their fake listings like if they are uh, even uh, not having a physical store at any address but they are creating those listings and spamming because of this uh, google uh, wantedly gives for lot of uh, business owners to verify their listing via postcard only so uh, Uh, due to various reasons this postcard may not arrive to this uh, business owners so usually it will take 12 to 14 days for that postcard to arrive uh, to the uh, business owners location yeah, or uh, the, uh, his store's location and uh, so if this is the case with you even if uh, if you have applied for a postcard and if you haven't received a postcard after 14th day also then what you can do is at this point of time you have two choices one you can uh, request for another postcard and two you can uh, opt alternate verification process which i am going to uh, explain in the later part of the video so and uh, two most important things which you have to remember is one whenever you you opt for uh, verify via postcard and uh, it will take 12 to 14 days uh, usually it will take 12 days so you must wait till 14 days and uh, if you are not waiting till 14 days and uh, if you are uh, opting for uh, the alternate verification methods then in this case uh, the google my business team will ignore your uh, request and uh, your verification uh, process may not become successful uh, so you have to remember that you have to wait uh, until 14 days uh, to receive that postcard and if you are not receiving till 14th day then on 15th day and 16th day you can initiate the process which i am going to explain and second thing you have to remember is whenever you uh, request for a postcard verification method you should not change any uh, details in uh, your google my business dashboard on your listing uh, it could be your name it could be your phone number it could be ad address or anything you, you should not change because uh, if you change then again uh, two things may happen one is you might not get a postcard and the second thing is even if you get a postcard and you enter that pin you are uh, you will get an error like uh, pin is invalid so keep these things in mind so basically there are many verification methods like apart from this uh, postcard verification method there is phone uh, like phone number uh, verification method where you will get an otp and once you enter that otp your listing will get verified the next is email verification method uh, and uh, video verification method and uh, search console verification method or you can call it as instant verification method so the search console uh, verification method also it depends you you cannot opt for search console verification method because google may give for some businesses this option and google may not uh, give this option for few businesses so this you can exclude so there are two things which you can do one is via email verification method and second thing is via video verification method so uh, from my experience uh, if you can uh, if you, you if your listing is genuine and if you have a storefront and if you have a signage uh, then either of these or uh, two things will easily work and out of this two video uh, verification method will uh, take less time to get verified so uh, let's discuss how to apply for this uh, verification method so guys to get your google my business listing verified without postcard using alternate verification method first of all what you have to do is 
you have to enter this url this url i will provide in this video's description so once you click on this url you will be uh, redirected to this contact us form so what you have to do is on this form you have to uh, sign in with the gmail id which is associated with that google my business listing which you want to get verified so what you have to do is scroll a bit down here uh, below this step one uh, click on this drop down menu and select the listing which you want to get it verified so once you select that google my business listing uh, you scroll a bit down and uh, here you have to enter your problem uh, our problem was we were uh, not getting postcard so i'll simply enter postcard and after that i'll uh, click next so once you click on the next uh, option you will get a series of problems over here so if uh, like for us we did not get postcard or a postcard did not arrive so we'll select that option so once you click on that option uh, here you have to select on next step so once you click on it uh, you will get this uh, urls but you should not click on this you will uh, if you click on this you will be uh, deviated from this process so after that uh, what you have to do is uh, here you have to click on next step so once you click on it here you will get a couple of uh, uh, contact options so sometimes you may get chat option also so what uh, as of now here only email option is there so i will select email option so once we click on this email option so here this is the actual uh, like verification request form so you have to fill all these details uh, clearly and precisely so you should not uh, give false information over here so that uh, your listing will not get verified so give accurate information so that your listing will get verified as soon as possible so first what you have to do is here you have to enter your name and uh, after that here you have to enter your uh, email id with which the google my business listing is associated or uh, the gmail id with which you will manage that particular uh, google my business listing and after that what you have to do is uh, here you have to enter your uh, business name so whichever uh, the business name which you have used on your uh, google my business dashboard uh, that only you have to enter over here so in the, uh, i'll give you an example so here you can see i have created this listing with the name of digital asset so uh, what you have to do is uh, you have to copy this uh, business name and you have to enter over here after that here you have to enter the business address so here also same what you can do is you can copy the uh, address which you have provided uh, while creating that listing that accurate address you have to provide over here and after that here you have to select the relationship to that business so if you are owner of that business so you have to select i own this business if you are an employee for that business so you can select the i am an employee uh, of this business option and if you are a friend or family member uh, who is trying to uh, solve this problem on behalf of the owner then you have to select this option and if you are a freelancer or agency owner then you can select i own or work uh, for an agency and if you are a normal map user you can select this uh, so once you select this option so here what you have to do is you have to provide a map url or uh, your listing url so this what you can do is you can go to google maps and you can search your business so once you uh, enter your business name you will get your listing so click on that and uh, once you get that uh, uh, listing here you will get that map url so what you have to do is you have to copy this map url and uh, you have to paste it over here so there are cases where people have asked that uh, as listing is not verified it did not went live and they were not uh, unable to find that map url so in those cases what uh, you can do is uh, you can go uh, log in to your google my business dashboard and here dashboard url you can copy it and you can paste it over here so if you are on mobile then what you can do is you can go uh, you can use google chrome and uh, there you can uh, use a desktop uh, view and uh, there you can log in and uh, from there you can get this uh, dashboard url 
so i hope this point is clear so here is the main update which has happened so one or two months back uh, in this form there was an option to choose uh, either via verific uh, email verification or uh, video verification so now that option is removed so you don't have the uh, right to choose the way in which you want to get verified so now it is entirely up to google my business team so i'll explain uh, this thing in uh, the end so now what you have to do is here uh, if there is any official company mail id uh, which is associated with that business then you can enter it over here and uh, now what you have to do is here you have to attach four images out of which the uh, fourth image is optional so these three images are mandatory so i'll show you i'll show you with examples how you have to uh, click these images so let's go to the uh, examples so guys the first image which you are going to upload over here should be the picture of storefront which should clearly show the permanent signage of your business so guys this is the sample image which you have to upload as the first image over there so in this image your storefront should appear clearly and especially your signage should appear along with this storefront so signage in the sense the sign board or the business board which has your business logo name address and contact details so this signage and your store should appear in one image and it should be clear so this is the first image which you have to upload over there now the second image which you have to upload over here is the the picture of storefront which clearly shows address adjacent storefronts and respective signage so these three things should be included in one image so guys this is the sample image of the second image which you have to upload there so as you can see in that image adjacent storefronts and your business storefront should be covered in that image and your signage should be clearly visible and some or the other place your address also should be visible in that image so in this fashion you have to click the second image and you have to upload over there so now the third image will be the picture of storefront which is taken from across the street which clearly shows the address markers as you can see in this third sample image this image is taken from across the street and it clearly shows the address markers in this image so in this fashion you have to click the third image and you have to upload over here so guys after uploading all these three images you have to scroll down and here you will get a checkbox you have to click on it so this means that you are giving your consent that your information which you have provided in this form will be shared with the person who is affiliated with that business so if you are the owner of this business listing then uh, this will not be any problem so after that you have to select the country in which your business listing is located and again if uh, here you have to enter your website url so after that what you have to do is here you have to select the country code and after that here you have to enter the mobile number and again remember this mobile number should be reachable whenever the google my business support team will contact you this should be approachable so after that what uh, this is again optional so guys if you have already submitted this verification request form and if you did not get any uh, response from the support team then you can uh, use that uh, case id which you which you got while submitting that uh, earlier form over here and you can click on this submit option so guys once you click on this submit button google my business team will go through all the information which you have provided and if they feel that that information is genuine then your listing will get verified almost instantly or within a couple of hours and uh, if they feel that this information is not genuine and it if it is kind of fishy then they could ask you for some additional proofs and additional information and once you submit that you are they will easily verify your listing after uh, verifying that additional information and in almost rare cases if they feel that your business listing is not genuine and uh, if you are trying to game the system then they will uh, ask you for a video call verification method 
so in this fashion you can easily uh, get your listing verified without postcard so guys i hope uh, you uh, this video was really helpful for you if so then uh, please uh, hit that like button and if you have any queries then you can ask in this video's comment section and uh, for uh, latest google my business tips and tricks and uh, uh, updates you can subscribe to this channel